Hi everybody, welcome to my first podcast about making music, about making a very quick workflow, about either using a DAW as setup or using a DAW. And uh, I started making music at uh, 59, I'm now 67, so I've had to learn a lot of things very, very quickly. And this is my first podcast with the top 10 tips I can give you on how I learn so quickly and what I have learned. And I just hope I can pass some really, really good you know, things over to you. Well, the first thing, my first tip, number one tip, which uh, if, you, if you're going to watch to the end of this podcast, great. But the first number one tip is think about the end result, the end music. If you go and see a, an opera singer, if you go and see a band playing, it's all about the end result. I found that I was getting very, very hung up on oscillators, LFOs, frequencies, rumbles, uh, compression. The end result is very, very important when you make music because that's what it's all about. So that's major tip number one, the end result. Start making music, worry about the end result. Um, a question I got asked yesterday by one of my friends who's just got a Roland SH4D was um, he couldn't get a track uh, to make, um, you know, three minutes, three minutes 25, three minutes 15. And I said, well, the trick that I started was, was actually uh, doing the first four bars or the first eight bars and then just multiplying it along to three minutes. That's great if you've got a um, you know DAW like FL Studio or Ableton or whatever. Uh, on, on a Syntact or machine, just duplicate and keep copying it so make your first bar. I'm gonna give you an example of this. I haven't really um, put the Syntact in here uh, to play it. I just want to show you a good example of what I mean by this. So first of all, uh, my third tip is gonna be create a good sound or find a good sound or basically find something uh, that you like listening to. So what I've done on here, I've actually found a patch on the Syntax. So if you've got a sampler, if you've got a Digitax, if you've got anything, you know, any of the machines that do samples, find a sound that you actually like. I always find that by listening to music, uh, uh, the music I like, other people also like as well. Well, hopefully they like as well. Uh, find that sound and then build on that sound. So that could be tip number three or tip number four. So just think about the sound. So just an example here on the um, on the syntax. Hopefully you can see that fine there. I found a bass sound, uh, and I'm just going to play. I'm just going to play this bass sound for you. Which now you can hear that bass sound. Now that bass sound didn't always sound like that, uh, but you can change the overdrive on it. You can change the noise on it. But make the, make the sound your own. So you've got, I class that as an actual, as, as an interesting sound. So make that one your own. What else, what else do you want to do? Well, maybe just, um, you know, put some reverb on there. So you've now got a great sound to start off with. And this isn't about the syntax or any machine. It's about your workflow. Now, the second thing I did was actually just duplicate the sound on here, which is just a copy and paste function. And then I just added the kick. Now, so with just two sounds, you've got the start of the song. So that's just bobbing away quite nicely. And then just add other sounds. So duplicate that. I, I actually duplicated that 16 times, to be honest. And then I added sounds and I took sounds away. So here we go. What's on number three? Another sound, number five. So. That is just playing 16, but get it to four bars, get it to eight bars, get it to 16 bars, and that's all started from just one sound. So the tip, tip there is find the sound you really like, add a drum to it, add a snare, add a hi-hat, and keep duplicating it. And what that does in your own mind is helps you build a pattern up. And when I found I've actually done, you know, uh, 16 patterns, I can add stuff, I can take stuff away, and it helps me actually build the song itself. So tip number four, five, six, uh, tip number five. Uh, tip number five is actually listen to a lot of music. Now that might be easy to do and simple for me to say, but I found that listening to internet radio, and I'm not gonna promote any radio stations here, um, but I found that listening to internet, um, you know, radio stations is great, although I do like Rave on the Dance Floor. Um, and it doesn't necessarily tell you what music is, which art it is, it's completely free. All I do is get it on my phone, um, I Google it, internet radio, techno, 
and it plays all day long i put it in my car i put it in my earphones i'm listening to the gym so listen to a lot of music you like it doesn't mean you have to go to itunes or amazon or spend a fortune buying music put the internet radio on and listen to a lot of music and that's the input and that'll help you give you that'll give you an output i found i found one thing the other day that when i was actually uh, you know looking for some ideas i've listened to a lot of house music and i suddenly started to make house music because that was the input and the output came out on the door so that's another tip for you listen to a lot of music i'm saying try and listen to music every day if you go to the gym if you commute on the way up from work or maybe just an hour to find some peace put an hour of some music on if you like in my case it's techno although i do try to listen to ebm or industrial dance or you can just put the youtube on put the earphones on and listen uh, to what you can the other um tip my next tip is going to be make it simple so what i've done here as you can see here i've got my setup here some speakers i'm recording it is just add sounds don't add a thousand sounds just add a sound at each time decide if you like that sound or if you don't like that sound take it in take it out add some reverb add some delay add some distortion and it all gives you some ideas so these are just some tips how i actually work this is actually my you know my my workflow um when you want to make a track aim for about three minutes or three minutes 25 or three minutes 15. when i first started to make music i'd aim for nine minutes so uh it's a lot easier for me to do a shorter track nowadays but i aim for about three minutes or 350 or maybe 415 but you know uh just think about uh you know how long you want the music to be there's no rules uh i know that in the pop world they like three four minutes etc uh the other thing to do is i always like to start with a bass some people like to start with a drum um but what i would say to you is think about uh the melody and try and create a melody maybe at the end i don't create any melodies uh, until i've actually established you know 16 patterns these are all you know patterns here you can see i try to put the pattern on at the end um so it usually uh, then builds the full picture so um what else can what, what what are the other tips i can give you really first of all uh, don't be afraid of making any mistakes the second um thing that's very important is put some random sounds on if you listen to uh, the radio or the internet radio it's funny how you hear a sound and it suddenly takes you back because you didn't think about that sound coming in you you were very surprised by it and i noticed that on a lot of industrial dance they have some horns playing they have some acid music playing and it just makes you think and stuff and then they take that sound away and i think that's absolutely great so uh when you've actually got to your door or your door settings just start to lay down some music uh, when i first started i can remember i was always look for that drum uh if you've got you know uh, any doors at all or you know it comes with drums it comes with hi-hats it, it comes with kicks so you can actually do different things and you can build things up put everything in the mix take things out take things in when i was uh trying to be a dj uh, i can always remember the advice i got from some people is uh, add sounds in add sounds out don't be worried about the fixed rules of chorus uh you know bridge uh melody don't worry about th these are your rules you're making the music if you look at a lot of established artists or should i say successful artists nowadays uh, they do their own thing and you might get advice from people to do this and do that do your own thing it makes you original it helps you get established uh, so just to finish uh on one of the most important rules is think about the end result don't worry about too many of the, th the things you need to learn between when i started with a door i had to learn how to use the door i had to learn how to use the plugins in the door i had to learn how to use compression i had to learn how to use echo delay uh, and that stopped me thinking about the end result and then when i finally started to think about the end result you know when making music i then start to complete more and more and more tracks so really the top tip out of today's you know, episode is think about the end result enjoy yourself don't be afraid of making any mistakes don't be afraid of throwing loads of sounds in don't be afraid of taking loads of sounds out but try and keep it you know literally as simple as you can and just enjoy making music and i hope you enjoyed the, this podcast there's going to be more pa podcasts to come leave the comments below i'll answer them all and i'll see you in the next podcast